everyone, it's me Catherine and today I'm bringing you my spoiler free review for Shadow and Bone, book one in the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. So the Grisha trilogy is set in a world where people called Grisha exist and these people are people who have what we would class as a magical ability, except in this world it is based more on science but only certain people have the ability to make use of this science but it's not magic. So in this world we have the normal people, average people, with zero science abilities and then we have the Grisha who are the science people. And we follow Alina, our main character, who believes that she is a, a normal, an average human being without any abilities but Something happens and boom, she discovers that she is in fact Grisha. Not only is she Grisha, but she has an ability that people believed didn't exist. She is one of a kind, one of a kind, and we basically follow her as she has to try and save the world as these stories go. And I have to say guys, that whilst this was nothing new, this was a dream to read after Queen of Shadows. Oh my goodness, I had so much fun with this book. So, so much fun with it. While it wasn't perfect by any means, it was so nice to not hate all the characters. It was just... <sighs> so obviously I've already spoken a bit about this world. So this, it is set in this world where this sort of... I will call it a magic system even though they don't call it magic because in this world magic is... They have magic but magic is something different. It's not... It's not the same. It's not the same. So they class this magic as science, which I, which I was actually quite interested in, but we don't really get to learn much more about it, what, which was one of the downsides I had to this. So while this ability system that they have is called science, not magic, I would have liked to learn more about how because even though it's not magic, only certain people have the ability to use it and only certain people have certain abilities. So we have people, oh my god I've forgotten all their names. There are the, it's, there's a theory alchi, material, 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 material and I forget, corporal, corporeal, 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 I will put them on the screen somewhere because I was never sure how to pronounce them anyway. So they split into mainly three three groups. There's people, the corporeal alchi, their abilities lie with the human body when they split into either healers or heart renders. So healers obviously are people that heal people and then we have the heart renders which are the fighting, on the fighting side of things. Then the materialki are people who create. From what I gather, the people who can create things and make things, they're the makers and builders, I guess, sort of. I don't know if they actually build, but you know what I mean. They're the sort of makers, they make things, they create things. Their abilities aren't made for fighting. And then we have the summoners who have control over certain elements and things like that. So we have fire summoners and the tide makers control water and oh my god what do they call the squallers? Squallers. They have uh, control, some element of control over the wind and then we have the uh, one special Grisha to rule them all. This is literally what it is and that is the Darkling and he's the only person that has this ability and he has control over darkness over darkness and the Darkling is the Grisha who rules over the other Grisha. What am I even talking about anymore? Right, so that's how the world is split. Normal people, Grisha, went off on a tangent that I really didn't mean to go on, um, to go off on and so that's how it's split and I, I, oh that's it. I was saying how I wanted to know more. If it was explained, I missed it or I didn't understand it. Why people, these people have such an ability because it's not magic, they can't create things out of nothing. But why do only certain people have this ability? Why is it only certain people and not everybody? If it's a science, 
why can't people learn how to use it? That's, I think that was one of, that was something that I would have liked to have known. Because I like to know how. I like to know how and I like to know why. They're my two main questions, how and why. So why do only certain people have it? How does it really work? How does it work? Because I, we don't really find out. And also, we don't really learn much more about the rest of the world in general. It's sort of set in a Eastern European slash Russian inspired setting. I don't want to definitely say Russian because I don't know enough about Russia and the rest of Eastern Europe to say for certain. So it's set in a world that seems based on that sort of culture and language. I don't know enough about that to comment on it really but that's really all we know and that some that they're at war with some countries but we don't really go into much of anything and while that's fine with it being a new world I like to know I like to know a lot and with it being a first book especially I tend to expect from the first books more information regarding the world and past events and current events and things like that but when we don't really see much and we don't really find out much I mean it has been a little while since I read it but I don't recall learning much so that was really one thing that I, I didn't I didn't learn as much as I wanted to which for some people might be fine for me I like to, I like to know I like to know and I didn't and so that was a bit of a downside and also this is nothing we haven't seen before it's nothing new nothing groundbreaking but it was still it's such a I feel found it to be such a fun read such an easy read such an so nice to not hate everybody and while Alina did bug me at times that was down to her being flawed on purpose purposefully flawed as a character and I'm fine with that if the character has flaws that they are fully aware of then I'm absolutely fine with that and whilst there was romance in this I didn't mind it for the most part it was a bit cheesy and a bit sickly at times but you know what, this was such a fun read that I didn't mind. I can forgive a lot because it is a first book and I just hope that it gets better for the rest of the series. But I did find the ending a bit more, a bit too convenient, I'll say. It is a first book and we're still getting to know these characters and getting to explore these characters. So I'll just wait and see what the next books in the series or like but that is it guys for this spoiler free review thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of shadow and bone and i will hopefully see you in another video 